What's up, Warriors? How you guys doing? Today's topic is going to be fruit. A lot of people are asking me about, you know, fruit. What do I think about fruit? How much fruit should I have? Should I uh, switch my uh, carbs, my starchy carbs, which is potatoes, rice for fruit? Uh, a lot of my clients were doing that. A lot of people think that fruit is way better than uh, a starchy carbohydrate. Uh, the thing about fruit is that, like I tell everyone, you know, everybody's going to have their own opinion, their own way of thinking, their own approach. Uh, you know, we could argue all day long, you know, but from my experience, from what I've done, from what I, uh, you know, learned throughout this journey and helping others, you know, and my research as well, you know, fruit is good for you. You know, absolutely. I'm not saying, you know, I'm against fruit, but you know, people eat so much fruit that it's not needed. At the end of the day, it's still sugar. You know, there's, uh, you know, a lot of fruit that contain, you know, way more sugar than, than other fruit, which is not beneficial, uh, especially, you know, if you're trying to uh, lose weight, you know, which a lot of my clients come in. Uh, and that's the whole uh, idea. You know, the whole idea and the purpose is to lose weight. And they think by eating, you know, bowls and bowls of, of fruit, just because, you know, they heard that it's healthy, it's more fresh, it's lighter on the stomach, they don't feel as heavy, that it's going to, uh, you know, speed up the process. And I'm like, absolutely not, because that's stored as liver glycogen. See, starchy carbs, everybody thinks that carbs, is it's they're bad for you. Uh, they have this crazy idea that carbs make you gain weight, uh, that that's why you're, you know, overweight and it's not. It's a combination of your lifestyle. It's a combination of fats and carbs at a high amount, which that's why, you know, it's about portion control. It's about, you know, those are two sources of energy that the body needs, carbs and fat. Obviously, we do not need both of them to be high. And that's what everybody eats most, carbs and fat. And and quantities that are like just exaggerating. How do I know? Because I used to do that. You know, very little protein and always just going to town with just high amount of carbs and uh, and fat because that goes hand in hand. Chips, you know, um, a lot of, uh, you know, baked goods, uh, a lot of uh, processed, you know, food. That's all it is. High carbs in high fats. The body does not need both sources of energy to be that high. But uh, anyhow, so everybody just demonizes carbs right away. Oh, carbs make you fat. Oh, I heard that carbs, you know, are bad for you. You shouldn't have them. I would prefer fruit. No, well, the thing about it is that they don't do their research and they don't know what they're talking about when it comes uh, to nutrition, the facts of nutrition. And it's about portion control, even when it comes to fruit. Fruit is a survival food. It's not for you to eat till you can't uh, breathe no more either. Having bowls and bowls and then adding lemon and 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 tahin and syrup and, you know, all kind of a, a chamoin. And whatever they, they put that it's so popular and everybody's thinking that they're eating healthy by going to these places that they sell, uh, you know, bowls and bowls of uh, mixed fruit. So don't get it twisted. You know, you got to, you know, really pay attention to what you're doing, what you're consuming, because that is a problem also. That's why, you know, all my clients, I read, you know, I'm not telling you don't eat fruit, but I always, you know, uh, tell them, you know what, my recommendation is like one fruit a day. Pick one fruit and that's it. There's no need for you to have, you know, five different types of food in your bowl or in your plate. Just pick one. That's it. You know, like I said, it has no purpose for what we're trying to do. It is healthy. It is beneficial at a certain point, not in, you know, abundance. So it, it's all about portion control here. So like I said, you know, starchy car, uh, carbohydrates is what's going to uh, feed the muscle. It's going to shuttle the protein where it needs to go. Obviously, you know, we have, uh, we have it under control. We have it... Uh, you know, uh, with uh, proper portions for you, for your height, for your weight, for what we're trying to do. You know, it, it's all about the macro ratio, what you should be consuming, how much protein, how much carbs, how much fat. Everybody has a macro ratio, and it all depends where you're at in your fitness, in your health, in your height, in your weight, 
in your age, your activity level, all that's a big factor. All that plays a big factor on where you're going to start and what source of energy you're going to use. Is it going to be high carbs, you know, medium fats, you know, low fats, high carbs? There's a lot of uh, variables that come into play. It's not just throwing random numbers up in the air and hope, hope you know, hoping that uh, it'll stick. So like I said, I have nothing against fruit. This uh, uh, video is about fruit. Uh, and a lot of my clients, you know, they were thought or, uh, you know, they were misinformed. There we go again. You know, they just, they think. But a lot of times, you know, that's the problem, that they think too much and instead of asking questions. And then that's why they keep doing, uh, you know, what's wrong, you know? So once I address that, it makes sense because the way I explain it, the way I break it down, you know, we don't need that much fruit. We don't need to eat in abundance. You know, that's why we have a breakdown. That's why we have a structured plan so we could follow, so we could adhere to that plan because there's a purpose behind it. You know, so copious amount of fruit is not good for you. You know, you have your carbs, you know, a source of energy that the body needs, which is going to you know, help uh, with uh, muscle growth. Uh, it's going to help with uh, keeping that muscle that, that, you know, we have as we're losing weight. We ain't trying to uh, lose what we got or that little bit of uh, muscle that we have built. A lot of times people, that's another mistake where they just take the carbs away and then they don't like how they look. You know, at the end of the day, they look like a melted candle or they look like a skinny person with no definition, no muscle, no kind of shape, no kind of anything. No, they, they look like they just lost the weight. That's it. And now they're sad and now they're pissed. There's a purpose for every macronutrient. There's a purpose, you know, for you to have carbs. The people that ain't eating carbs or that are very low on carbs, there's always something behind that plan. There's always something. There's more behind that than just... Oh, I'm not, I don't eat carbs or I don't eat that much carbs or I'm very, you know, low on my carbs, medium fats, you know, you know, medium protein. They have different ratios, macro ratios, but because there's a reason behind it. A lot of people, they're, they're diabetics. A lot of people, they just, they restrict carbs because they have so much inflammation that, you know, it's bad for you at a certain point. Any macronutrients in abundance, it's going to be bad for you. Too much fat is bad for you. Too much carbs is bad for you. Too much protein, or cat, you know, it's, it's bad for you as well. You know, when you just go get out of control with that. Constipation, upset stomach, you feel bloated. There's, there's a lot of, there's a lot of, uh, you know, uh, reasons why, you know, Everything's in abundance. It's going to hinder you. It's going to uh, mess you up. So we got to pay attention to what we're doing. We got to pay attention, you know, before we start doing something that we're not too sure of, sure of that we don't know. You got to make sure you always got to do your research first before you start engaging or you start a journey that all, you know, all you did was just listen it half ways or half fasted, you know, or half fasted information. You didn't read the whole, uh, the book or wherever you got that information from, you just breeze through it and whatever sounded good, you're running, uh, you're running with it. No. And the reason why I know is because I was the same way, you know, you just fucking read, you half ass read that article or whatever information you, you know, you, you're trying to, uh, look for it and, uh, you run it. Because you, you want results quick. You want to start now. And that's the problem. You need a proper breakdown. You need to ask more questions. You need to know what you're doing before you start a journey, before you start, you know, uh, going after, uh, you know, a path that uh, a lot of people quit. A lot of people fail because they set themselves up for failure because they're lacking information. They're lacking knowledge. So like I said, you know, fruit and moderation is okay. When you're cutting, uh, we don't really need that much fruit. That will come later on as you're building more. You have more room for calories. Now, we'll, you recommend, you know, uh, 
you know, more uh, fruits that uh, could come into play into your nutrition, into your uh, diet, if you want to call it that. But uh, no, there's a purpose for everything. So hopefully this video helped. And that's what I think about, you know, fruit. There's a purpose. You know, there's always a purpose for every, uh, you know, uh, macronutrients or every, uh, you know, anything that you're trying to do. You know, there's always a, a plan, but you got to make sure that you, you know, and um, you actually, you know, did your research. Let's roll it.